In this video, we will rank a 100% AI article on Google. We're going to do it step by step because if you screw up some of these parts, you screw up the whole process. So this is going to be like a mini, a miniature masterclass. So let's jump into it. So we need a niche. So let's start off in Belgium, right? Belgium waffles. Everyone knows this stuff. But I said, give me 20 words. This is ChatGPT, by the way in the travel niche for Belgium. So this is going to be the experiment, a travel blog in Belgium. Let's just see about it. A lot of people do travel blogs. I like them. So here's all of these things, Belgian travel tips, Brussels vacations. We need something to write about that I've never shown on this channel, something new. Now this is Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. This is my preferred tool. And yes, it is not a free tool, right? It's paid, but it's very powerful. So what we did is we pasted Look, I'm going to go back. We pasted our keywords right here. Boom. Into Keywords Explorer, we hit go. You're going to see this thing up here up top. It says we couldn't find data for 14 keywords in our database. That's a problem which we're going to address. And you're going to run into problems throughout SEO. It's good that we do them on this channel so you can see how to overcome them. But we go to matching terms over here. And all of a sudden, what this does, it takes those original seeded keywords, the ones that we got from ChatGPT, and it says, is there any semantically related keywords pertaining to this? And it says, yeah, there's 103 keywords all told, and the total volume is 690, and that kind of stinks. I don't, I mean, it stinks in a way. I want bigger volume. If we have 103 keywords only at 690 per month, we have some sort of issues. But the point is, keyword difficulty here, there's low keyword difficulty things. But I need to go back to the drawing board and figure out better keywords with higher volume. Now, before we go on, I want to tell you, this process gets better and better. The more and more you press into this keyword research, you're going to see it just keeps getting better. So check this out. I said, give me a list of every aspect of Belgium that travelers or visitors may be interested in. Use only one word for each aspect. This is really, really important. List every aspect of your niche. Your niche is different than Belgium, right? Just list every aspect of the niche that your audience may be interested in. That's the prompt right there. Super powerful, right? And it's one word. And there's a reason we're going to do one word. And here's 50 of them. And this is going to become our foundation blocks. Now, what we do with Keywords Explorer is we type in Belgium or Belgian, right? I want both of those. We hit go. Hit the go button. And then... What we're going to do is take those seeded ones, any word over here, boom. So all of these, look, 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 I'll, I'll zoom in. See that? That's all the 50 keywords right there, separated by commas, any word. Apply, show results, and then go to matching terms. And you're going to see, look, at total volume is 3 million. You know, now we're cooking with fire, but now we need to refine it even more. Keyword difficulty, say to 20, okay. And then lowest DR, say up to uh, 20, boom. Now we are honing in on keywords. Look at here, and that's 166,000. All of a sudden we have keywords that low uh, domain authority websites, websites probably like your websites are actually ranking for, and we have 2,000 of them, right? So we can even press into this a little bit further. Now I'm not sure if you realize what we're doing yet, but what you can do, you can come here and you can say export, right? And I've exported the top 100 keywords, okay? 100 right here, like these exact keywords, Belgian Canary, Belgian Block, all these things. And we're going to push them yet again into the Keywords Explorer. So I'm going to do this with you right now. Push these ones right here, boom, into the Keyword Explorer. And guess what? We're going to sort traffic. Or we're going to show traffic by domains. And this is going to show every single domain, in other words, every single website that is ranking for these different keywords. And then we're going to export that once again, all of those websites, 500 different websites, and we're going to push it to the quick batch analysis. Listen, you came here for ChatGPT, 100% written AI content, but guess what? The preliminary work is how you rank on Google with AI content. So the quick batch analysis is a gnarly tool, and it's taken all of those websites, and now we have power. This is where the power happens. DR is domain rating or domain rank, right? We can sort by this. So I want to sort all of these websites and we can only do 200 at a time. I want to sort them by weakest to strongest. And then I'm going to look where are the weak websites that have traffic. So this right here is the traffic column. I'm looking down. I'm looking down. Here's one with 4,000. That's not enough for me to be interested in. Here's one with 11,000 with a 4DR. That's interesting a little bit. Let's keep going. Here's one with 34,000, a DR9. Now I'm interested. Now I'm clicking into this website 
and and we're going to see what they have going on. It's a travel website. It's in our niche. Maybe, just maybe, if we come up here to sitemap, uh, let's come here, and then we can go to all their URLs, their posts, right? It looked like a nice website. And we can control F and we can do Belgian. All right. And just like that, we have this one here and we have this one here. Two articles in our niche that we know this is a weaker website. It's a very well done website. I mean, whoever did this did a heck of a job. A lot of ads, but my goodness gracious, they are kicking some butt. And now we know we can rank potentially for the best Belgian beer cafes in Antwerp. Just like that, you can rinse and repeat a hundred times. This is how you're going to rank on Google. Now, before going on, I want to make a point. You could emulate websites like this. So you can identify weak ones and then emulate them, right? You can trail them. And a lot of people do this. I do this for clients. This is an SEO tactic. But look, how could we have a competitive advantage against websites like this? This is spread thin. In other words, they're talking about a lot of different places on this website, Asia, Europe, Mexico, Middle East, United States, right? That's a lot of different stuff. But if I had a website just on Belgium, right? I'm going to be the authority on Belgium. And that's one concept. So here we go. Um, this is what we're going to work in now, Google Docs. And then I want to go to Google. Type in the keyword up here, the best Belgian beer cafes in Antwerp. And we can get sophisticated with this. But what we're going to do after we get through this SGE nonsense, we're going to come down here and they rank number one for it. Great. Control click. Yelp, I don't care about. This one is a blog too. And they rank twice for it. Interesting. And then right there, four. We have four things right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to come to uh, the headers and we're going to grab. That is called SEO meta in one click. Uh, you want to just get the portion. See here, similar posts. I don't care about similar posts. I want the body of this thing, right? We're going to grab it. We're going to push it here and we're going to rinse and repeat quickly. We don't have to, you know, stay all day here, right here. Boom, push it here. Um, this is the second one they rank for, which is pretty darn interesting. Um, no, we're not going to take that stuff. So you have to use your discretion uh, when looking here uh, down to right there. All right, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and now we're going to push it to ChatGPT. Now, this wasn't hard at all, right? I'll show you what I did. So we have, here are my competitors' headers for the article, this. You have to give ChatGPT your article title. It needs to know what you're talking about, right? So here's all the headers. We scraped these. We more or less scraped these. Uh, and I said, please give me H2 headers in a more for a more comprehensive article, including what they're speaking upon. And just like that, we have a mega article. And this is going to just outcompete everyone because it's more comprehensive, talking about everything they're talking about and more. But I want to be clear here. You have to be very careful. You do not want your H2s to be the same words up here. Like, do not copy word for word what your competitors' headers are. I don't like that. I think you can do better. You can make it more SEO optimized. And out of the box, this looks pretty darn good. Now we're going to land at the custom article workflow with Word Galaxy. Push the headers here, H2 headers, put your title here, and then additional keywords to the right. These are what you want the tool to inject in the article, right? You're kind of forcing it, if it can. And where I got these, right, I pushed the URL of our competitor, that travel blog, into the site explorer up here. And here's 17 keywords this article is ranking for. Therefore, right, I want those in the article. So that's what we did. And just like that, create article. And look here to the right. Here's the ones that um, included. See these? The additional keyword phrases. It didn't do all of them because it doesn't try to press you know, the issue too much for keyword stuff. And so now we have an article based upon competitors that we know we can rank against. But if you want to go faster, because nowadays you can go much, much faster than what you just saw, I've created a masterclass, right? And it's going to be a limited availability. We're not going to have this just available all the time. I'm going to shut it down. If you're interested, there'll be a link in the description. There's a lot of good stuff. I have like three experimental websites I'll walk you through. I'm talking 550 blog posts in four days. Like the cost of it was ridiculously low. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so much here. But nonetheless, if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description. I hope this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you. But wait, there's more. I promised you free methods. So if you don't have the money for Ahrefs, Answer Socrates can help you find good keywords, right? But Ahrefs is going to kick its butt every day. And then searchresponse.io. I'm going to do more videos on this tool in the future. This thing is just insane and it's like a fraction of the cost 
of hrefs. Now, I know I went fast in this video. I'm telling you, it's jam-packed with value. Go back and re-watch those. Make sure to subscribe to my newsletter because that's where people are getting the, you know, I don't want to call them freebies, but that there's a lot of good stuff happening there. I'll keep you up to date. That's how you stay up to date. So I'll see you on the next one. Leave a comment below. And yeah, thank you for watching.